Hi, I'm Alexa. This week we're cooking with Gino Roman and we are making chocolate chip cookies. For this recipe, you will need one cup of chocolate chips, a half a cup of butter, three fourths of a cup of sugar, one tablespoon of molasses, one large egg, a cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one fourth a teaspoon of salt, which we have all mixed in here. All right. Want help? Yeah, here, why don't you put that in there? Oh, perfect. Put an egg in? Oh yeah, do you want to crack the egg? I live for it. Uh, <laughs> look at that, huh? Look at that, <laughs> look at that, no shell in there. And then the most delicious part, molasses. That's why I love cooking. Mm hmm So, Gino, can you tell me and everyone else what you do here at NHS on a daily basis? Well, on the teacher in the goals classroom, and I work with 10 of the best students in the school. We work on life skills and uh, academics mm -hmm. every day. Can you explain to us what the goals classroom is, or what that means for some students who may not know? Uh, the goals classroom is just a, um, a highly supported class for students who need extra help with their academics, with getting all the life skills they need to be successful adults. I noticed during our chat before we started filming mm -hmm. your beautiful tattoos. Could you sh give us a little show of some of your tattoos? And well, if you can stand the muscles. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> the octopus I got was the first tattoo that I had gotten um, when I was teaching. It was the mm -hmm. first year because I felt like I had to have at least eight arms to be moving about and doing all the things I had to do. Mm -hmm. And the expression on it was, lo que no te mata te hace fuerte, which means what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But that was before the song. So the song <laughs> kind of took away a lot from how I felt mm -hmm. about it, but I'm, I'm okay. This was another teaching year when some things were going around. It's um, an ocean scene where sometimes you feel like you're not going in the right direction or maybe the tide or the waves are getting too strong. And I got some other ones that are... I like that one. That's my daughter. Yeah? Yeah, when she was really little, she used to say the poem, I see the moon. Mm -hmm. I see the moon and the moon sees me. So I got her on there. And she's, she wants to be a writer, so she's holding a pencil and some papers. Would like you like to do. add the chips? Yes. Perfect. Oh, extra. Mm -hmm. It was actually for you. Oh, yeah. that was very thoughtful. You yeah. put that extra one in. Mm -hmm. Just for you. I'll go. So, another thing that I found very interesting about you, Gino, was your essentially million jobs before you landed on teaching. Oh, hmm, yeah. So it was a, it was, it wasn't a smooth path. Could you tell us your journey, I guess, to how you got to teaching? Well, I started out, well, I had a lot of jobs when I was a, a kid, you know, teenager. Mm -hmm. um, anything I could find. I, I grew up in, in Brooklyn, in New York, and um, I did everything from being a, a messenger, not a bike messenger, but a foot messenger, and um, I used to stand on street corners and hand out cards for furniture. Hey, come buy the furniture cards, you know. So I never got hired from like any restaurants. I used to apply to those. I always got hired for things that were like messenger and stuff like that. I did work for Captain Haggerty's dog grooming school. It was on Lexington Avenue. I lasted a day. <laughs> um, the dogs dragged me up and down Lexington Avenue and it, was, it wasn't for me. Then Not I worked in a, assisted living with um, senior citizens and I, I liked that. I liked... Um, I like doing activities with them. Which when I got back here, I found the job for a, an ESP, and I got hired. And from there, I just started really liking the work, and opportunities presented themselves. So I went to college, went to UMass, and got my degree, and then I went to graduate school at Bay Path. It's been great. You know, mm -hmm. it's the first time I felt settled somewhere with something. Well, these look like they are ready to go in the oven. Mm. Uh, you can cook them for about 
9 to 11 minutes. Again, I cooked them for 10. All right, well, these are the finished product. They look very good. They do. So do you want to just go in? Cheers. Cheers. It's I'm really good. good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Well, Nine. I think that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us here on The Leftovers. Thank you. Thanks for having me.